So I'm calling the policy committee to order, and the first item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge I allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. summer and then there were some uh, law changes uh, so you'll see in the track on the track changes on page five um, there's just a there was a typo a couple typos and then on page six there was a new section uh, about pre-award costs um, and then on page uh, 20 there's a section on grant grant closeout requirements so these are all just changes to the law, so the policy has been updated to reflect those. Any questions? Okay, we'll go on. Uh, policy JCA, change of school assignments, also minor revisions? This is um, actually, JCA is a major revision. Should be oh. major revision. Um, okay. It's a completely new... The manifest um, education hardship law and the best interest placement laws have completely changed. Um, they went into effect. Uh, there was one that went into effect in 20, a, a small amendment, and then major revision in 21. So um, the, we have basically redrafted the entire policy, um, and it just it has the it has timelines in there for. Um, when someone can make a request and when it has to be responded to. Um, I know that this probably would have been super helpful when we had your hearing a couple of years ago because our policy is pretty vague and now it is, it's quite detailed on what the requirements are. Any questions? Policy JECB, admission of non-resident students. This is being withdrawn and being replaced with policy JFAB, Admission of non-resident students new. Are there changes other than the re-lettering? Yep, there are. This is also a, a pretty significant revision. It talks about um, admission, and then it, it also the the next policy that you have is actually the procedure. So the old policy was uh, broad and it had some you know little procedural um, recommendations, but this is actually from the. Um, Non-tuition agreement comes from an, an attorney's office, so it's a it's a much more formal document. Um, and the admissions of students talks about um, terms and um, students with disabilities, um, cost of attendance, so things that are really relevant when you're accepting a student from out of district um, that we needed to reflect. And it, it also reflects the law um, changes, any changes in the law. I believe the last time the policy that you currently have had been looked at was 2013. So. There's been substantial changes since then. And then policy JFAB-R is the um, procedure. The procedure. Of that. Yeah, it's a tuition. It's basically a tuition agreement with an out-of-district student. Anybody have any questions on the policies for first reading? Question. Yeah. So would we just say now, is, is it easier or harder for non-resident student to be admitted? Um, I don't think it's easier or harder. I think it's still the same. It's just you're you have a clearer um, it's who's required to do what, and yeah. um, it protects the district more financially. Um, so it's it wide open. It's a yearly thing. It's you know once you grant a student permission to attend your school, it doesn't mean it's a forever deal. Um, they have to apply. There is an application process. The school district does have the opportunity to talk with the San Diego School District, learn about the, not just the academic record, but the behavioral record, attendance records. Um, and it really spells out who's responsible for special education costs and who's responsible for transportation costs. Um, there's a district on the seacoast that kind of got stuck 
um, with they, they went to um, mediation over who was paying for the special ed costs because the district had accepted an, a student from another district who then was referred for special ed and the sending district said, no, no, we're not covering that and the receiving district didn't have a policy that said they didn't cover that. So there was a significant bill that went along with that. Um, so this is really to protect the financial interests of the district. Any other questions? Do we need a motion to move this to the full board for first reading? I'll move it to the full board for first reading. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? All those go. Then we have policies for second reading. Policy EHB. Data records retention. This is new and replaces JOR2, which will be withdrawn. Anybody have any, anything else on that one? Policy EHB-R, local records retention schedule, that replaces policy CMA, which will be withdrawn. Policy IHBAB, determining specific learning disabilities. This is new and replaces IFEA, which be, will be withdrawn. Policy IHBDA, evaluation requirements for children with developmental delay. This is brand new, required by law. Policy ILD, non-educational, non-academic questionnaire surveys and research. This is new and replaces both JOB-R1 and JOB-R3, which will both be withdrawn. Policy JRA, Student Records and Access, FERPA. This is new and it replaces policy JO, JOA, and KBA, which will all be withdrawn. Does anyone have anything new to add to these? <coughs> Renovations of the policy book. <laughs> right. <coughs> I will need a motion to pass this to the full board for second reading and adoption. So Second. All those in favor say yes. Aye. 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 All those opposed? <laughs> okay, that passes. I will open for public comment. Do we have anybody that wishes to? We have attendees, but nobody wishes to speak. Is there any other? No? I have a second motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. You guys want to be here tonight, right? Well, no, I was, I was caught up in thought on whether or not I wanted to be here.